Hi everyone, I'm Tanya J. Peterson with the Anxiety to Anxiety blog on HealthyPlace.com. Living with social anxiety can be really isolating and it can make people really lonely. If you have social anxiety and are tired of being lonely, there are things that you can do to overcome social anxiety and just kind of ease out of that, that little box and trap that anxiety has you in. You can get out and start interacting with people, making friendships, meaningful connections with, with others. It's something that social anxiety makes seem impossible, but it is actually really within your reach. One way of doing that is to discover events where there are lots of people and go to them. Maybe a meeting of a club or a religious organization or something where there's a group of people. That though can be just as isolating and as anxiety provoking as staying at home because a crowd of people can be overwhelming for anybody and then you add social anxiety to that and it, it becomes crushing and it also is very easy to isolate to kind of hang back and just watch people which again there's nothing there's nothing wrong with that but it's harder to form meaningful connections that way so instead of using the immerse yourself in a crowd method you might want to try bringing it down and connecting on an individual level, one-on-one -on -one or one-on-a on a, on a couple. A great way to do that because that's hard. It's not like you're going to go up to somebody in the grocery store and just say, hey, you look like you'd be a nice friend. Can I have your number? That's probably not going to end well. So instead of having to do that, you can become a mentor to somebody and find a mentor for yourself. I talk about both of those in the article, which is linked in the box and what that involves and how to do it. But for now, think of one way that you can connect with just one person. What is an interest that you have? Do you enjoy uh, reading? Maybe connect with a school and a program that pairs volunteers with students who need help with reading. That's a volunteer opportunity that can, eventually you're not gonna befriend a child, but you are putting yourself out there. You are getting used to interacting, you are used, you're helping somebody, and you are meeting other adults that are like-minded that you can gradually get used to connecting with and maybe take it to a level outside of your volunteer experience. So it doesn't have to be at a school, but think of a place where you can volunteer, use your strengths, do it bit by bit, and start connecting on a small scale with like-minded people forming meaningful connections. Uh, read about mentorship again in the link below and give this a try. Thank you for listening and I'll see you next time.